monitoring and preventing child abuse is the key job of child welfare agencies. Can they do that right now? Staffing shortage is dire, and that is worrying many experts. Sarah Wilson joins us now from the newsroom. Sarah. Alicia, Valerie, those fears confirmed by a report from the Pennsylvania Partners for Children. Their findings investigate allegations of child abuse and neglect, and they say the number of those claims are up, but a lack in staffing is making them difficult to investigate. A system under stress. We saw a pretty big decline in terms of the reports into the, the system, but we don't think that was necessarily a good thing. Close to hitting a breaking point. After a decline in child abuse reports in 2020, claims are on the rise again. I think the increase can really be point, it can point back to the um, kids coming out of the lockdown. You know, they are seen by those mandated reporters more frequently. The number of child protective service reports in 2021 up nearly 15% from 2020. That's a problem for agencies like CPS, which the Pennsylvania Partnership for Children says is struggling to keep up with the number of reports they're receiving. There's a decline in the substantiation rates. We think that might mean that caseworkers simply don't have as much time. They're overburdened. Um, these are very stressful jobs. We see a lot of issues around retention and recruitment in these positions. Those issues are also happening on a local level. In PA, child welfare systems operate by county, and some are understaffed. ABC 27 News reached out to the Children, Youth and Family Services in seven counties across the mid-state. Three responded. Perry and Cumberland County say they're both missing about 30% of their staff. York County missing almost half of it. I think there's a few solutions to really address the, the concerns that are raised in the data. Solutions like recruitment and higher pay to address staffing issues. But I also think we need to look again at how we're really providing services for families that are supporting them. Um, and I don't think we're doing an adequate job right now um, with those resources to make sure that, again, kids are not entering the child welfare system. Now, even if agencies are short staffed, they say do not let that deter you from filing a report if you need to. In the newsroom, Sarah Wilson, ABC 27 News, Valerie and Alicia, back to you. Thank you, Sarah.